The Republicans for a long time have been saying, hey, you know what, we're so worried about voter fraud. That's why we gotta pass all these voter ID laws. That's why we gotta restrict early voting because oh my God, what if there's voter fraud? Now we've shown you numbers that you're more likely to get hit by lightning than, uh, it is literally true, okay? You're more likely to get hit by a catapult, I think. So like insane numbers. You're more likely to get uh, attacked and killed by a shark in Florida than you are to have voter fraud happen in those states, okay? So it, this is absurd, it's made up. In fact, we've shown you this clip before, it's Paul Weyrich. He is one of the ideological leaders of the Republican Party. He helped to set up Moral Majority, Heritage Foundation, etc. And remember what he said about people voting, whether Republicans wanted that or not. Watch. I don't want everybody to vote. Elections are not won by a majority of people. They never have been from the beginning of our country, and they are not now. As a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. So that's how this game is played. Now, we knew that, but the Republicans wouldn't admit it until now. So Jim Greer uh, was the GOP chair in Florida. So the head of the Republican Party in Florida. Now, he has since had a falling out. They accuse him of stealing money. He's under trial. Uh, and so they say, oh, don't listen to him, don't listen. But now that he's not profiting off the Republican Party anymore, he's like, oh, okay, I'll tell you what we actually do. So he talked to the Palm Beach Post, and here's what he said, quote, the Republican Party, the strategists, the consultants, they firmly believe that early voting is bad for Republican Party candidates. It's done for one reason and one reason only. We've got to cut down on early voting because early voting is not good for us. It doesn't have anything to do with voter fraud. It has to do with, hey, if you allow more people to vote, Democrats are more likely to win. And he's not alone. Uh, Charlie Crist used to be the Republican governor of Florida. Quote, the only thing that makes sense, any sense, as to why this is happening, referring to restricting early voting, and being done is voter suppression. In fact, Charlie Crist explains when he was governor, Republicans came up to him and said, hey, come on, come on, let's cut out the early voting. And he's like, why? That it gives people a chance to vote more. They're like, uh, I'm not sure we really want that. But Charlie Chris didn't get the message. And in fact, he says one of the Republican strategists told him, what are you doing? This was back in 08. You're going to hand the election to Obama. That's what this is about. Now, since Charlie Chris didn't play ball, he was also escorted out of the Republican Party. How dare you have principle? Now, when we tell you to restrict voting, you restrict voting. And you make up something like voter fraud to justify it. Now, again, this is not just those two guys who are not in the Republican Party anymore. Now here's Wayne Bursch, and he handles races for Republicans at the local and state level. He's a GOP consultant. Quote, in the races I was involved in 2008, when we started seeing the increase of turnout and the turnout operations that the Democrats were doing in early voting, it certainly sent a chill down our spines. Meaning, mm, those guys are going to vote for Democrats. And by the way, the numbers are clear. Early voting does lean especially in Florida, in favor of the Democrats. So that sent a chill down their spines. They gotta do something. They gotta restrict that, that by hook or by crook. And by the way, when you speak of crooks, boy, did they get the perfect candidate because now Rick Scott is the Republican governor of Florida. And as soon as he came in, they're like open season. Yeah, all those things Charlie Chris wouldn't do. Are you kidding me? Come on in. Yeah, of course. We'll restrict it as much as possible, etc. Now here's Jim Greer again, ex uh, Florida GOP chair. They said, quote, they never came to see me and tell me we had a voter fraud issue. It's all a marketing ploy. So how's that for clear? When, when the Republicans came in and told their chair, hey, let's do these issues, they didn't even bother talking about voter fraud. It was a, voter fraud was a marketing ploy so that they can restrict voting. It continues, Kurt Browning, former Florida Secretary of State for the Republicans. But reducing early voting days does not attack voter fraud, and given the longer days, it certainly does not save money. So he admits it too, no voter fraud, and it actually cost us more money to do Rick Scott's plan, which restricted early voting. So all of these Republicans agree. Back to Jim Greer. Now, what are they really worried about, most worried about? Minorities. Of course. The sad thing about that is, yes, there is prejudice and racism in the party, but the real prevailing thought is that they don't think 
minorities will ever vote Republican. And so you got to make sure they don't vote or they vote as little as humanly possible. Set the rules against them. Now here's an unnamed GOP consultant verifying that. He says, quote, I know that the cutting out of the Sunday before Election Day was one of their targets only because that's a big day when the black churches organize themselves. So if it wasn't clear before, it is now crystal clear. All of these Republicans and former Republicans saying, of course we did this to limit voting and particularly black voting so that we could win. Voter fraud, marketing ploy, we never believed that for a second. And uh, Florida Governor Rick Scott, what does he think of all this? And the new laws that he passed to restrict voting in Florida? Quote, well, I'm very comfortable that the right thing happened. I'm sure you are, Rick. Rick, of course, was the CEO of a company that did the largest Medicare fraud in American history. He was also very comfortable when that happened. He was also very comfortable afterwards when he reaped huge profits from that and never got punished at all. His company had to pay a fine. <laughs> okay, by the way, Jesus, assume you have no morals. For the sake of argument. It's a fair assumption, huh? Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, somebody comes to you and says, all right, listen, you're the CEO of a company, uh, and if you do this Medicare fraud, it's worth billions of dollars, you're going to make an extra $20 million a year. But then later, if you get caught, nothing will happen to you, but your company will have to pay a fine. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the question? Man? I have no morals. <laughs> well, that's exactly what Rick Scott said. Where's the question?